If I'm to have a symbol, it shall be one I respect. You have to understand the secret societies, the fraternal orders that are operating within our border. And the people who are in power in this country are working for our enemies. They are using the terms and the symbols and the words and the catchphrases of the European secret societies. They are working for our enemies. This is why no matter what you do, nothing is going to work because the people of this country don't understand the symbols. The power of hidden symbols was alluded to by another writer, this time Foster Bailey in his book entitled The Spirit of Freemasonry. Quote, a symbol veils or hides a secret, and is that which veils certain mysterious forces. These energies, when released, can have a potent effect. Unquote. What's going on, Jordan? What do they want? Why are they doing this? There, it has to do with, uh, with the uh, objectives of some extraordinarily ancient secret societies, of fraternal orders that have in mind the total domination of the human race. Symbols are a language that can help us understand our past. As the saying goes, a picture says a thousand words, but which words.
Spencer, tell me something about the sun. The sun, the symbol of the light, Lucifer, the intellect, the gift, primordial knowing. You don't worship darkness. Can't people see that their symbolism is entirely to do with the light? So when we're understanding about the sun, when we're understanding about light, when we're understanding about Luciferianism, the kind of knowledge is on a need-to-know basis, and you know, the powerful people in this world figure you don't need to know. This is a secret, a secret communication among powerful people around the world that are playing jokes on the working class poor and the working people of the world. Have no idea in the world how this stuff is really being played. That's why I've always believed that there is a legitimate du jour magical system that is being used and employed to manipulate the whole human race and we don't even see it. The secret is simply the fact that certain of their members worship Lucifer and that they keep that secret from the overwhelming majority of their own members and certainly the public is never to know this fact if they can help it and the evidence to support that conclusion is ample but only to one who cares enough to look for it. The problem with most people is they don't care enough to look for anything so why the secrecy? The secrecy is because, folks, the real secret of Mystery Babylon is how to control everyone else. And if they reveal these secrets, they won't have the control, for it'll be in the hands of everyone. That is the greatest secret of the secret societies. I've been looking at this one um, subject of the hidden words, terms, catchphrases, symbols that the Illuminati uses around the world. And I am just amazed how it's right here in America in your face and people have no idea in the world. We have no they, idea they were the brilliant. They're brilliant to be able to hide this. In plain sight, right in front of you. We're talking again about symbol literacy generally in life when it comes to advertisements, you see, or media, or video games, or, or even symbolism, art. It's very important for people to realize the subtext, subtextual um, messages that come across. And since people watch a lot of movies, and since movies are now in our day and age, you know, a million dollar creations, they're yeah. in your face. Yeah. It's uh, actually handy for people to watch them objectively also like a critic and see some amazing stuff that's, you know, being told to us through the films. With each new dawn, I see the sun god rise on the far bank of the Nile. Deadly fun, but all sold in the sun, that's it! Devil's snare hates sunlight. Lumus Helen! Tony! You will cause the reflection of the sun on the rear window to magnify and shine so brightly that our pursuers will be blinded by it. Does this ring mean anything to you? Freemason? And I can tell you now that most of us have been living in fantasy land for all of our lives. We don't even know anything near what the truth of any matter is. We must begin an honest search. Now Osiris has as a symbol an eye, and that eye, of course, is the sun. And this eye represents the sun of the underworld. Quote, the arcana, defined as being a secret or hidden knowledge of the ancient mysteries, were never revealed to the profane, defined as those not initiated into the inner mysteries, except through the media of symbols. You're going to find, folks, that symbols mean more than you will ever begin to understand unless you waded deep into the stream of the mystery Babylon, as I have. This symbol uh, in the Egyptian was a ball of light surrounded by radiant rays. Therefore, the sun was radiating in all directions, lifting up everything that came in contact with bringing death to life out of the earth. That part of the, of the world where the sun was above the horizon was the good part, the life part. Night was the dark part. Night was darkness, mystery, and death. Day was light, brightness, 
and wisdom. The symbols and the words, the terms, you start breaking it down. It's in Hollywood. It's in movies. It's in music. I, I, I just, I, I don't know even know what to say about this. It's just so overwhelmingly obvious to me. Hmm. They don't worship darkness. Can't people see that their symbolism is entirely to do with the light? So when we're understanding about the sun, when we're understanding about light, when we're understanding about Luciferianism. But the sun was there as a symbol of order, life, resurrection, fertility, and uh, inwardly of the illumination of the soul. In all time, truth has been hidden under symbols, wrote Albert Pike. And he also wrote this, symbols are nevertheless ingenious veils that cover the truth. Once the knowledge was available, nothing could put it back again into secrecy. The only answer to this problem was to keep it secret from the beginning. Now, the problem of secrecy was largely in the hands of a philosophical priesthood, or perhaps we might say a great theological structure. It's a worldwide thing which is going on, and the people of this earth have no comprehension whatsoever of who's doing it and how it's working. And until we do that, we're just going to keep going further and further in and never realizing who's doing it to us and how they're doing it. It's a very high technology. The individual who desired knowledge and re recognized the need of it was placed under certain restrictions, must take obligations, must prove through long training and discipline worthiness to receive knowledge. It was the purpose of these ancient teachers to make sure that nothing important to the advancement of man could be captured and held by selfishness or ambition or avarice. It was necessary, therefore, to select the custodians of knowledge. The question of just what the ancient mysteries were, folks, was answered in part by Albert G. Mackey, another 33rd degree Mason. Quote, Each of the pagan gods had, besides the public and open, a secret worship paid to him to which none were admitted but those who had been selected by preparatory ceremonies called initiation. This secret worship was termed the mysteries. Unquote. This, uh, this is the same genuine, magic, authentic crystal used by the priests of Isis and Osiris in the days of the pharaohs of Egypt. Oh, it's a pagan god Horus and his mother Isis centuries before the birth of Christ. Light can conceal as well as reveal. Yeah, indeed, yeah. Light can blind and burn, you know, and that's what the Illuminati are calling themselves the men of light, hmm. or the princes of knowledge, or the Luciferians for a reason, because they know how to manipulate and use light as a weapon. Quote, ancient secret doctrine, which is concealed in Masonic allegory and symbolism. It was but to preserve these truths for future generations that Masonry was perpetuated with birth. And if that is true, why is it a secret? Stop believing what you're told, including what you hear on this show, unless it checks out in your own research, your own experience, your own digging. Each of us must find our own truth. And if our we are really looking and digging, we're ultimately going to come to something near the same truth. With the all singing, all dancing crap of the world, it is the world that has been pulled over your eyes. Who actually sits down and puts this together, Jordan? I know. This was put together a long time ago. Yeah. A long time ago.